Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to go over uh, my initial impression and uh, brief review of the recent decan samples I uh, purchased. I have a few more decans coming on the way, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go over three samples. Two of them are part of the same house, or part of more designers. Um, the other one stands on its own as part of the kind of niche fragrance, um, uh, higher ends categories. Um, yeah, I'm, I've actually wear these ones and I'm really amazed with how good they are. And let's go over for the very first ones. This is part of the very you know, higher end niche uh, house, Aspire House from MFK, Mason Francis Kurchon. This is Gentle Fluidity Silver. I got a 10 milliliters. It's like a colorless kind of uh, juice. Um, let's go do a spray in here. Well, I already have this smell of it on my hand here. Um, oh, beautiful. So what do you get with this one? I think for me this this juice in my opinion it's it's like a weapon <laughs> it's beautiful it's a very versatile uh fragrance you definitely even for right now it's just whether it's warming up for spring and summer you could wear this all day it's beautiful it's definitely it's very clean it's very aromatic very woody scents Definitely you're getting that some sort of a clean herby wipes on here. Yeah, there is that some sort of the herby wipes. On opening, I think you're getting a lot of juniper berries. Definitely that's a predominant note on openings. Definitely on dry down, you're getting some sort of the ambery, woody, kind of musky kind of wipes on here. Definitely you're getting that. But definitely when it gets really close to dry down, um, I'm definitely getting more kind of a sweetness. Um, the vanilla is definitely predominant on the dry down, but definitely I would say it's sort of it's very clean, uh, aromatic. Definitely it's herby uh, scents. Definitely you're gonna feel feeling of a freshness. Definitely you're gonna get tons of compliments. This is a you know uh, you don't smell this kind of thing every day, but definitely it does sort of smells like a fabric softener or like a laundry kind of smells some people will say i do get the vibe of that one but definitely it's very pleasant it's very clean um and it's up there i think in my opinions with my one of my favorite reflection mats but just this one doesn't have that you know floral stuff um definitely it's a beautiful sense it's clean it's herby it has it's aromatic it's musky definitely it's yeah, it's definitely a high recon this one. There is some sort of like a nutmeg, like a spice on here. I, know, I think it's kind of in the, in the background. It's not getting so much of that one. But the juniper berries is predominant. You get that a lot at the start. Definitely that amber musky dry down is there. Definitely it's versatile. I would say this one is for freshies, for clean fragrance. This longevity is insane. I'm getting like a nine to 10 hours or sometimes Another time I got it was like close to 12 hours. I could smell it, smell it. Uh, I would say the projections, the edge was the first three hours. You shouldn't have any problem. It's, it's, you gotta get a big bubble around you. You're gonna smell this everywhere you go. And people are gonna give you a compliment. I'm pretty sure of this one. Um, it's very pleasing sense. Definitely you must like the herbies, like a kind of a clean nose. Um, yeah, if there's nothing, I cannot say anything bad about it. Everything is good. I, but the only thing bad about it is just the price of the fragrance. I mean, it's very pricey, even on discounters. I would say it's like a 200, 300, even our retailers probably there more. Um, definitely, if you had a, ch a chance, try the decan of this ones, like a five milliliters or 10 milliliters, to see if you like it or not. Um, Definitely, if you're a collector and if you want something nice for summer and you know, spring, summer, even all year, this is definitely a great pick. 
it's versatile go for it but definitely uh, don't want to buy just get a decant always smell it then before purchasing the full bottles um yeah definitely for me as i said this is just like up there for me with the reflection man it's just it's become one of my favorites uh, the good thing about it is that here is it lasts on my skin my experience a lot more than reflection man did um yeah so definitely check this one it was house of mason francis courtion gentle fluidity silver i recommend this one all right, we go for the next two, which are part of the same house, are part of designers. I'm gonna go very, very first one. Then this one came, I think, 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Um, house of Valentino, Valentino Omo. The color of the fragrance, interesting. It's like a, a gray, kind of greenish. It's kind of gray, so I would say. Um, yeah, so let's spray this one here. This is more, I would say, kind of a masculine fragrance, and I tell you why. It's definitely it's very warm, definitely of warm, spicy, definitely woody, nutty kind of a fragrances. Upon the stars, when you put it on your hand, I mean. Right now I put it on my paper, but I definitely remember because you're getting some sort of the citrus stirs, but the citrus is not it's not the bergamot, it's not there for a long time, it, it, it disappears fast within minutes, I would say. But definitely the dominant players in here, you're getting a beautiful hazelnut, uh, there's a chocolate note on here. Yeah, and there's some, some sort of the coffee notes on here. Definitely they're blended beautifully. And Interesting part is it's, it's not doesn't smell too sweet or gourmandy. It smells like it, everything is balanced on here, and I think that on the bottom you're getting that uh, the leather. There's a leather notes on here that supports this uh, hazelnuts and chocolate coffee vibes on in the at the heart of the fragrance. And it definitely is very. This is good for like a parties, uh, intimate events, datings um christmas you know thanksgiving definitely if you want definitely you're gonna get compliment with this one it's warm um definitely it's spicy it has uh i would say for one thing that it's not good about it it's just this longevity and i think longevity is like a below average i would say the first an hour and 30 minutes is good you know the projection but then after that it's kind of uh, you know goes to the skin sense um like i would say of five to six hours after that you couldn't smell it um yeah so just about if you have a decant you can always spray it in and you just experience the first phase you know um, of the fragrance which is pretty beautiful it's very masculine sense in my opinion that says letters, definitely spices, and it's a unique sense. And I think the for the scent wise, it's it's a very it's a beautiful sense. And I think the, this is one of the you know, uh, classic. I think I don't know if this is discontinued. I'm not pretty sure, but definitely this is a great scent. Highly recommend this one, Valentino Yomo, Valentino. Um. Yeah, definitely. Uh, very, I'm very pleased by this one. It's very um, beautiful. Definitely, you get in some. I would say uh, that uh, there is a powdery kind of a boozy sense, more like a more powdery sense throughout uh, when you're smelling this one. It's there, so it's this sweet, but it's not too sweet. Definitely. The chocolate and uh, hazelnuts beautifully blended with the leather notes. And yeah, definitely you're getting that powdery notes in here. And there. Um, definitely I would recommend this one. Definitely I'll try the decan of it. Um, uh, don't be shy to try it. It's definitely a massive compliment puller. 
even though the performance is not that you know great but definitely i think for a cent wise it's it's a great pick go for the the, the next one here the this one is actually part of the Born in Roma lines for, from Valentino. It's a Coral Fantasy. This one is actually more kind of, I would say this is more kind of a unisex. Um, and the color is like a pinkish. Um, oh my God. This one is ASMR. Oh my goodness. This is like, it has some sort of a fruity, wipes to it i think it's just some sort of red apple in here it's some sort of the fruity in here and there's some sort of aromatic you're getting wipes in here definitely there's some sort of tobacco there's an earthy kind of a uh it's like a dry tobacco leaves and earthy wipes because i think it has a patchouli in here yeah um definitely is that one the patchouli and tobacco nicely blended and they're accompanying with the, with the fruit on top it's beautiful Definitely is spicy, is sweet, and by the same time is fresh. Definitely, you're getting that tobacco. If you must like the fruity tobacco sense to enjoy this, I would say you know yeah, this is definitely any sex either gender can wear this ones. And one thing uh, I'm amazed with is how good one the performance is. I would say eight or nine hours uh, longevity at least on my experience. It's very long lasting. I still have it. I kind of smell it on my hand to dry it out. And I spray this in the mornings and it's just like, a, it's it's very nice. I mean, definitely if you like, like some sort of the fruit, you know, some sort of the tobacco, patchouli, uh, wipes on here, definitely I highly recommend this one. It's um, definitely a bottle worthy. This is a unique sense, and I think you're gonna get tons of comfort for this one. Even same thing, you can just wear this, you know, you know, uh, to the parties, to the events. You know, you can even wear this one to the errands, in my opinion. If you want compliments, um, I'm sure um, people are gonna enjoy it uh, around you, and they're gonna ask you what you're wearing for this one. Definitely, because it's a kind of a unique sense. This is basically. Everything is balanced. I mean, it's tobacco. It's nothing. It's like a super jumping out. It's just that it's all balanced there. So definitely, there's a fruit there, there's a patchouli, there's some sort of tobacco. Definitely, it's very beautiful. They're blended, and I think there's some sort of uh, you're getting some sort of the, there's some sort of the cardamom too with the apple. Um, there's some sort of lavender too. Lavender, I getting it here maybe at the start but not so much on dry down dry down i'm getting most of the tobacco but definitely i because uh, maybe the reason i really enjoy it because i love tobacco scents and and lavenders uh nose these are my my favorites i'm really liking this one um so is the other one too but the other one doesn't have a good performance but this one you know you have sometimes a good performance it's no, I think it uh, speaks volume. Um, definitely, if you had a chance to, I highly recommend this one to try them. Um, definitely, they are great picks. Um, highly recommend this too. Uh, I'm not sure if they are discontinued, um, but definitely, they are they're great picks uh, from the House of Valentinos um yeah so hopefully you guys like this video and just uh, uh let me know what you guys think about this if you have any of this and if you have any recommendation for me to try any new other fragrances all right guys hopefully you guys can uh, if you uh, like the video you can like and subscribe and and thanks for watching and view and i really appreciate it and and i'll see you in the next uh, video oh, as i said at the beginning i got more samples coming and i do have um a few interesting video coming up now that i'm feeling a lot better <laughs> um so uh keep our eyes on that one for sure and i'm sure you will guys enjoy that those one too um uh, so
All right, so leave the video up here. Thanks again and have a good day. Bye.